I'm Uli Baranowski from Galaxy Instruments. What you are listening to in the background is the Una Corda, a new very special virtual piano we created in cooperation with Native Instruments. I'd like to tell you a bit about the concept behind Una Corda, about the recordings and the production and give you a walkthrough of what sounds Una Corda is capable of. We went to a special great sounding room to record this one-of-a-kind instrument. Saal 3 at the Funkhaus in Berlin, the famous old broadcast studios in Eastern Germany. Because you need a great room to reflect the special smooth tone of the Una Corda. And we took quite some effort to capture every detail using very close and distant microphone setups for a smooth but in-your-face sound together with the depth of Saal 3. There are a few singularities which make the Una Corda virtual instrument special and it starts of course with the original instrument itself which has been created by piano builder David Klavins and pianist Nils Fram giving quite some input on the concept. Due to only having one string per key, whereas other pianos have up to three, the tone of the Una Corda is very pure and because of the thin soundboard it's also very resonant. The virtual instrument features a couple of great tools, like the color adjustment to focus special parts of the original instrument's tone, or controls to adjust and enhance its resonance. Inspired by Niels Fram, the original instrument features a special preparation by positioning different fabrics between the hammers and the strings. Depending on the chosen fabric, the tone becomes even smoother, almost fragile, or percussive and rich. So we recorded the Una Corda three times, in its pure state, with felt for a mellow, fragile character, and with cotton for creating rich overtones and a more percussive attack. But we went further, recording even the noisy aspects of the instrument, such as the hammers hitting different fabrics, or the mechanics noises separately, to have them adjustable within the virtual instrument. We also added different room noise and hiss samples, serving like an acoustic bed and even noises of a pianist, all for creating a real atmospheric character. We sampled different playing techniques like harmonics, reverses and pure resonance. And as the Una Corda is all about atmospheric inspiration, we went beyond that with a style and a space engine, mostly based on effect convolution, to create almost spherical sounds beyond the real instrument. So the virtual Una Corda features a wide variety of atmospheric sounds, which I'd like to show you in a walkthrough based on the music we use for the Una Corda trailer, produced with just a couple of Una Corda instances. Have a listen. with a basic felt arpeggio with some harmonic accents and a reverse una corda in the background. Coming up are some bass notes from the pure una corda with a repetitive pattern using the cotton una corda plus a pad-like sustain sound followed by a few melodic notes using harmonics Finally, a distorted spherical una corda. Now, for a start, I'm going to show you some features of the una corda while playing just the basic felt arpeggio in a loop. So, let's have a look at the main page. Here you can see three controls which are constantly accessible. The first one is color. Color controls the timbre of the una corda by addressing the softer samples if turned to the left and the louder samples vice versa. Dynamic range does not affect the sample selection but their volume. That's how you can either extend the dynamic range without affecting the timbre or let just the tone color make the dynamics. The third control is the space amount, which is part of one of three edit pages you can access via three tabs. The first one is called Workbench, which is kind of a piano construction kit, bringing the sound sources, tones and noises together. Let me switch off the noises first. Besides the main tone of the cotton, felt or pure una corda, you can add harmonics, 
reversed samples and pure resonance. Play them by themselves or mix them together. The noise section features fabric noises, mechanical noises and pedal noises. Plus a couple of basic room noises and hisses. And last but not least, the pianist noises. Bringing back the main tone makes you feel like sitting right in front of the una corda. The second panel is the response page, featuring a couple of controls regarding how the piano reacts, like release, resonance, and overtone samples, pedal behavior, and velocity and tuning controls. The third panel is called Finish, but goes way beyond polishing the sound, because besides an EQ, transient control, or the compressor tape section, we implemented two modules mainly based on effect convolution, style and space. For this sound we just use an intimate room from the space module, but you could also choose from vintage reverbs like plate, foil or spring reverb, or spherical and piano IRs, as well as different echoes and reverses. Let's listen to the other Una Corda instances. In the background there's a track playing reversed half notes as well as the main tone which is smoothed though by the attack control on the response page. The roughness you hear is created by using the style module with an additional reversed space. This is followed by a few single harmonics played with a resonant piano IR from space. In the second half of the piece, three new elements are added. A repetitive cotton una corda, which uses one of six vintage delays in the space module. Bass notes and a short theme from the pure una corda, with additional harmonics. A moving filter and a cavern reverb creating great depth. The third element is a spherical pad, created with a vinyl-based style preset and a reverb from the Mystique category. Have a listen to the just more experimental sounds, which are added by distorted pad sounds in the end. These are again created by a combination of style and space presets. Let's bring back the regular piano sound. This is Una Corda. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.